Hi, I'm Lisa Marie. Welcome to my channel, Living My Best Life with Lisa Marie. Today I'm bringing you Pinterest-inspired Christmas DIYs, and this video is sponsored by Cricut. I'll tell you more about that later in the video. But for now, it's time to craft. If I mentioned that I bought something at Amazon and it's something that you need too, you will find the link to my Amazon store down in my description box. I am so excited about this project. I saw this on Pinterest and it was so cute. And I thought I can do this with some Dollar Tree supplies I have. So I've got this little pumpkin from the Dollar Tree. Took off the tag on the back, sanded all around. It got that glitter off. Why do they put so much glitter, you guys? Using my little ladybug vacuum from Amazon. Now I'm gonna measure both the width and the length because I need to know how much space I've got when I make my lettering. Now I'm gonna use my Kills Primer Paint in white. That's gonna be my first coat. And then I'm gonna use my white chalk paint from Full Cart. I'm going to go ahead and get a really nice coverage on here with one coat of that. I am going to use a very small ruler so I can draw some lines. I'm creating a cell phone. That's what I'm doing. It's meant to look like my iPhone. I'm also going to be using my Cricut Explore 3 to personalize the lettering for this DIY today, which I am excited about. It's actually going to be my first time using this particular machine. I'm going to tape it and use the Waverly chalk paint in black called ink. And I'm going to draw the little camera and another little piece from the phone and then I'm gonna paint the black all around those areas where I've taped it off and where I just drew those little parts. Super easy. Then I'm gonna paint the sides and the back and completely cover this whole thing with the ink chalk paint. I hope you guys will come visit me on social media, same name, Living My Best Life with Lisa Marie. The best part, tape coming off, I love that. Then I'm gonna open Cricut Design Space on my cell phone and I'm gonna open a new project. I'll choose shape and pick a rectangle and size it so it's the dimensions of that wood piece. I'm gonna choose a font that I want to use for this sign and there are so many free ones to choose from. I'm gonna type the words I wanna use which are, let's take an Elfie. Now I'm gonna click make it. I'm gonna choose that I'm using this without a mat because it's the Smart Vinyl from Cricut. Next, I'm gonna choose the material that I'm gonna use, which happens to be the Smart Vinyl, and this one is removable that I chose for this project. And then I don't wanna mirror it because I'm not ironing it on. I just want it to be exactly how it is. This is so easy. The machine flashes basically tells me to put my material in. That's it, I don't even have to worry about it. It just measures it, it cuts it, and it's so easy. Now I do have the vinyl roll tray attached so my vinyl is able to sit there and there's a cutter right on it. Oh my gosh, you guys, how nice is that? And I just cut off what I need. And now I'm gonna use the scissors to cut the piece even smaller. I'm gonna take my Cricut weeding tool and I'm gonna pull away the pieces of the vinyl that are not the letters. I'm really impressed with this Cricut Explore 3. It'll literally cut through all of the different kinds of vinyl, paper, cardstock, foil, and infusible ink. I think I could do a lot with this machine. So after I go back, I'll take like A's or any other letters that have pieces left behind. And there we have the piece that I'm gonna end up using. Then I'm gonna take a piece of Cricut's transfer tape, which you place right over the top and you transfer it from what it's on right now, which was the smart vinyl sheet to the transfer tape and then I can just lay it on my surface and rub over it with that little scraper tool you see up there on the upper right and it's just like any transfer it releases it from the transfer tape to the object you're putting it on in this case it's that little cell phone that I made one thing I like to do is put a decoupage or a lightweight top coat over the top of something that I'm going to place vinyl or rub on transfers or stickers on because I don't want to pull off the paint by accident so I'm going to do that and then I decide to cover the whole thing and dry it off with my heat tool from Amazon and then I'm I'm gonna cut my wording into each line. That way I can place it and just make sure that I have it exactly where I want. You don't have to do that. That's what I chose to do. So there I am removing the transfer tape with the letters on it now and putting it on my object and then just using my little hokey tool for weeding to pull off the transfer tape. And you can use the transfer tape more than one time. So if you'll notice, every time I take one off, I put the piece back on the backing of the transfer tape so I can use it again. Just a way that you can save money with your materials and you just use it until it's not sticky anymore. This cutting machine, is such a good investment because I can do so many things with it. Literally, I can personalize items. I can make DIYs that have words and shapes and things on them. I'm going to be doing something for my granddaughter's baby shower. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to think of all the things I can do with this. Just making things for my home gifts and the baby showers would pay for this machine easily. 
I want the option of being able to hang this or put it on a chair tray to decorate for Christmas time. And so I'm just making this little piece of rope. I'm gonna make a little loop, glue it together, and then wrap some around the bottom. And there's a hole at the top where there had been a little pumpkin stem. And I'm gonna put some glue on it and place it right in there. And that's gonna hold it really well. And now I've got this adorable little piece. You guys, I love Pinterest. How about you? Do you guys look at Pinterest for ideas too? And that's all there is to this one. It's done. Pretty simple. And with the Cricut Explore 3, it made it even easier for me to do this. I hope my channel is a fun place where you can come and be inspired to create something. If you like what you see, be sure to hit the like button and thanks in advance for doing that. I'm gonna take these three little wooden ornament shapes. I'm gonna use my Kills White Primer Paint. I'm gonna paint both sides. I'm actually gonna be putting some paper on. I'm going to be using a glue stick to attach it. I like to paint the surface before I put paper or tissue or napkins because that way if anything shows through it's not the wood color. I got that paper at Hobby Lobby and teachers use it for their boards. Anyway, I think it's a great quality and it was a very good price. It was on 40% off. There's my little glue stick from the Dollar Tree. Can't beat that. You get like four or eight in a package for a dollar. I'm going to attach each of the little squares that I cut out of the Buffalo Check paper. I'll use my brayer to flatten it cut around it and then I'm going to take my sanding sponge from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to in a downward motion go around all the edges and make sure that I get all of the excess paper off. Now I'm not going to show me doing it to both sides but I'm going to do the exact same thing to both sides. I'm going to take a little bit of my metallic silver folk art paint and I'm just going to paint that little top part of the ornament. You know how they're usually silver so I'm just going to put that on there let it dry and then I'm going to take my decoupage solution and I'm going to put it across the front of each piece so that I can put some words on each ornament. Then I'm going to take my little ruler and I'm going to measure it both horizontally and vertically because before I use my Cricut I want to make sure that I know the dimensions so I can make a shape that will actually allow me to fit something on my ornament. So I'm going to open it up, choose shape, get a circle and then drag the edges to the right dimensions. Then I'm going to choose text and I'm going to choose the font I like and I'm going to write some words that are going to go on my ornaments. For example, I'm going to do peace, love and joy. Once I have each word typed, I can then fit it into that circle shape and see if it will fit on my ornament. And then I can just get rid of that circle shape and just set up the words to print out in the direction that I want. I always arrange my words so I can use the least amount of vinyl possible. So now I'm going to choose that I'm doing this without a mat and I'm going to say which kind of material I'm using, which in this case is the removable smart vinyl. I'm going to set it up in my machine. I'm going to click make it. It's going to measure it. It's going to cut it. When it's done, I'll pull my paper to the point where it's safe for me to use the cutter on the roll holder. And then I will weed out the parts I don't need and then I will put the transfer tape over the top. Now on this middle ornament, I'm gonna actually use a little rectangle of the heat transfer vinyl, and you'll see what I'm gonna do. So on two of them, I'm going to put the words joy and peace, and then the third one, because there was white in the center and you wouldn't have been able to see the letters, I put that gold sparkly glitter piece on there. To apply the heat transfer vinyl, I could have used the larger Easy Press, but I did choose to use the mini Easy Press because it was such a small piece. So I laid the mat out, placed a piece of parchment paper over the top, I heated up the little iron per the specifications which you can find on the Cricut website. I included a screenshot to show you that you would heat it to the medium level for 40 seconds when you're putting something onto wood. Also keep the little mini press moving. When it's done, let it cool off, remove the parchment paper, and then use your weeding tool to pull off the backing and the heat transfer vinyl. This was so easy and it adds such a beautiful little touch to this DIY. Now all I need to do is take the word that I printed out for this one, which was hope, and add it right over the top of that pretty gold glitter heat transfer vinyl. I just love the way this looks. It's so pretty. Then I'm going to take the other two ornaments and I'm going to kind of arrange them and hot glue them together and I'm going to put this on a little tiered tray and I think it turned out so cute and it was super easy.
I found this really large sign at the Goodwill and it says it's five o'clock somewhere, which doesn't really fit my style. It's about 37 and a half inches by seven and a quarter inches big. So very large. I cleaned it off, sanded it, and now I'm gonna paint it with my White Kills Primer. I'm gonna do two and a half coats total. And then I'm gonna start working in Cricut Design Space because I want to create a nativity scene. So I'm gonna go in, create a new project and start searching for things that pertain to a nativity scene. I'm gonna find the little manger where Joseph and Mary and Jesus would be. And then I'm gonna add wise men and other people and animals and things like that. So I'm just going to go ahead and load my smart removable vinyl right into the machine. And I'm gonna cut the shapes that I chose. Now I'm gonna end up doing a couple different cuts to get all of them in there because they were rather large. I am just amazed at what these smart cutting machines can do. It's just a lifesaver. This is so much easier than if I did this another way. And I'm gonna take the paper out, cut out the pieces and weed out the shapes so that I can apply them to my board. I'm gonna cut out and apply transfer tape over the top of each of my pieces so that I can then transfer them to my nativity sign. And I'm so happy with how these all turned out. They're so cute. I ended up using a scrap piece of vinyl that wasn't as big as the one on the roll. So I used a mat to go ahead and cut out these shapes and just wanted to show you that on the Explore 3, you don't have to use the smart vinyl. You can actually use a mat and use some of your vinyl that you already had on hand. Now I'm just gonna finish placing all of my designs where I want them on the board and measure where the center is. And then I'm gonna go ahead and apply them directly to the sign. I just love this piece. This was an inspiration from Pinterest that I saw. I didn't make it the same as the one I saw, but it inspired me to want to create one of my own and add my own spin to it. Besides cutting out shapes and words, the Cricut Explore 3 can also draw things and score things. So if you were making paper flowers or you wanted to print on labels, you know, sticky vinyl labels, you could do that too. I cannot wait to try some more things. I'm thinking for organizational purposes, this is really gonna come in handy. I've also seen people make homemade greeting cards and you know how expensive those are in the store. So that could be a real money saver. Something else I was thinking about too is that if you're not super technologically savvy, it really doesn't matter. This was so easy to set up. It's kind of like plug and play. And the Cricut Design Space was super easy to use. I mean, literally you could put the app on your phone or use it on your computer or any device of your choosing. And it was so user-friendly. I mean, I'm not the youngest person on YouTube and I had no problem at all. <laughs> Now that I have all of my little shapes and animals and so forth on the sign, I'm going to go back into Cricut Design Space and I'm going to look for a pretty script font and I'm going to use the words, Oh, come, let us adore him. So I'm going to go ahead and arrange that into two little sections. So, Oh, come, let and us adore him because I want to put one on one side of the sign and one on the other. And I'm just going to use the same process that I explained to you before. And now I'm using also this letter spacing guide where you click on it and you can bring your letters closer together. Now I did end up ungrouping them so that I could move each letter individually because it fit better with the script writing. You can see me doing it right here. And then I go back and highlight the whole thing and group them together again. And that way I can print them all as one. I'm going to hit the group, attach, and then I'm going to go ahead and send this to the Cricut machine. Load my paper, which in this case is the Smart Permanent Vinyl. And I'm going to go ahead and cut those words out just like I did before. I will cut out the words and then I will weed them so that I can apply the transfer tape to the top and then place them exactly where I want them on the sign. I actually ended up cutting out each individual word that way I could kind of curve it and that made it a little bit easier for me to work with.
And now for the fun part, which is putting them on the board. I love placing the vinyl and I love using the transfer tape and then kind of removing it. It's kind of a satisfying, it's like pulling tape off of something when you just painted a clean edge. And I absolutely love it. It transforms something that was homemade into something that looks like it was store-bought and it just ups the quality and it becomes so high-end with the cutting machine. I love how this came out. Let me know what you think. I'm gonna use this fabric that I got at Walmart and this cute little burlap that I got at Dollar Tree and I'm gonna make an adorable Christmas banner. There were so many cute ones on Pinterest that inspired me. I have a little three inch triangle template that I made out of cardboard. We're gonna cut out those pieces with my rotary cutter from the Dollar Tree and then I'm gonna place them on the burlap and just glue right across the top. Do you love mega videos? Check out the link in my description box. Then I'm going to go into Cricut Design Space, choose text. I'm going to find a font that feels festive to me. And I'm just going to put the letters that spell out Merry Christmas. And then I'm going to turn them vertically because this is going to be very long. And I want to make sure I can cut it all. I'm going to send this to my machine once I have it sized the way that I want it. And that's based on the little triangles that I cut out. I'm using Smart Vinyl, so this is without a mat. This does need to be mirrored because it is iron-on vinyl, so I will click that box. And I'm gonna use Heat Transfer Vinyl for this, and it's the old glittery vinyl, so pretty. I'm gonna send that to the machine, load it in, and then I'm gonna cut out my letters. Once they are all done, I'm gonna cut them into individual pieces, weed away the excess vinyl, and then I'm gonna apply transfer tape I'm going to apply them to my banner on each of the little triangles and then I'm going to get out my heat pad and Easy Press Mini. I'll heat up my Easy Press Mini to medium and then I will apply it for 25 seconds to each letter, moving it around constantly and then afterwards turning it over and doing it for a little bit less time on the back of each letter. After I let it cool down for just a couple minutes, I can go ahead and remove the backing. And now I'm gonna take a scissors and I'm just gonna cut in between the green triangles and give my banner just a little more dimension. Super easy and I love how it turned out. To finish it off, I'm gonna use some thick twine from Walmart and I'm gonna attach it to the back and make little loops to hang it. And then I'm also gonna put a piece of twine across the top of the front because I thought that just looked super cute. And I really am happy with how this turned out and I hope you guys like it. Be sure to let me know. And now for one last look at all four of my Cricut Explore 3 projects that I made that were Pinterest inspired. I love all four of these. They're gonna look so cute on my tear tray and hung up in my house. I hope that you enjoyed it as well. And I will put links in the description box for how you can get a Cricut machine if you would like to get one. And I would just like to say thank you to Cricut for sponsoring this video. Thank you so much for watching my video. It really means a lot that you take the time out of your day to watch my videos. And be sure to come back so I can see you in the next one. And remember, you are a blessing to me. If you like this video, I'll put a couple more up on the screen that I think you'll really like, so feel free to check them out.